the, we can come back to this in a minute. Um, but we have this conversation set up yeah, for Earth is Life and um, uh, Mr. Sugar Cookies. Uh, hold on one second. I just wanna. Are you guys gonna be sharing screens or anything? To, if not, I'll be able to save it on the live stream. If you want to go ahead and pull up my video, because that's what he wants to talk about, you can do that and you can share that. But, but I'm probably just going to be posting stuff in the um, in the text chat if I need to. All right. Well, uh, uh, welcome, uh, Mr. Earth is Life, and welcome, Mr. Sugar Cookie. The floor is yours. Yeah. So just a little, just a little um, backstory about this. Uh, yeah, I was. If anybody watched the, watches the video, it just. I was over in uh, the Earth Awakenings Discord, and um, he posted a picture with a, with a, a turtle, and he asked the question, "Why? Oh, the turtle was below the neighbor's roof for some reason." Um, and I was like, "Well, th yeah, the reason why is because you're below the turtle. That's why it appears lower than the you know. Oh, I'm sorry, no, higher. It was higher than the roof, and obviously it's because you're you're not at the same eye level as the turtle." Yeah, I'm in here. I just popped in and kind of hanging out. Oh, you're here. God damn it. <laughs> well, that was Earth's wife was talking to you. I don't know if you heard it. I heard a little bit, yeah. Um, was anyone able to stream that video in here? Otherwise, I'll, I'll have to try. All right, we'll wait for Earth's life to get back, and then we can uh, go through it. I'm ready to do this now. All right, is that you, B ball? Okay, hold on. Let me back out. One second. All right, you watching? Is everyone watching? We got uh, sugar cookie. Is he watching? Yeah. When he, so you can go ahead and chime in at any point, and you can ask whatever question you like. All right, sugar cookie, you're here. Go ahead and pull it up on me. Right, so I'm, on my PC. I'm on my PC, but I'm listen. I'm on Discord in the VC on my phone because my my PC is fucking weird and I can't speak at the same time. So so are we going over this video or what? What are we doing? What's that? I'm waiting on Sugar Cookie because I know he was. He wanted to go over the video, so and I, you know, we can he can we can play it, and then he can pause it at whatever point you want to talk about. Hello, hello. Yep, we hear, we hear yeah. you. Okay, I was trying to. I don't know what was going on because I was trying to stop the video, but apparently that's why I had to re rejoin. I guess, but yeah, can you go back to the part where he starts with the diagram? And I, I, I am a, and I don't sound like that, but it'd be, I mean, I like how you read my voice, though. This right here? Uh, uh, talking about? What, oh, actually, a little yeah. bit before that. I think it was before that. No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it was the second diagram after the turtle. There, oh, that one. Oh, what, damn what's it. the time stamp? Fuck it, eh? It's like, well, not the one with the yellow, the yellow, green, and yeah. blue lines. Is that the diagram we're talking yeah, about? Motherfucker, no, it's not going to play. Yeah. It's at 130. So, what was your question about this diagram? I want to, it's right before that. I can't, okay. dude, if somebody had a computer, oh my God, I need help with this. That'd be great. Right there. There. Yeah, I'm trying, man, but it's not working on my phone. I'm trying. Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can post it. I don't know why it's not there. It is right there. Okay. Right. Can you see what I what my reply was on that? It's a diagram. There's not an eye level to a diagram. Are Are, are you talking about the diagram with the yellow, green, and blue lines? With yes. the looking like kind of like looking down the hallway. Okay. So let's say you're standing in this hallway and your, your, your eyes are the same level as that red line. 
that would be your eye level. Is that is that kind of hard to understand? Yeah, I guess if I'm going to be uh, the same half a half the height of the uh, from floor to ceiling, I guess sure. Yeah, you can draw lines that, on you can draw mean. lines on whatever and say that it's eye level, I guess. Well, that's sure. the point of a diagram. You're trying to explain explain something, right? So if you're standing in this hallway, let's. We, I mean, we can even you can pull up a hallway with a line on a wall if that if that's easier for you to understand. If you're standing in a hallway, right, and your 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 eyes are the same height as that red line, then that's your eye level above the ground. Okay. Does that make sense? If my eyes aren't the same height as that red line. Then, then, then that then the red line is, isn't your eye level. Your eye level is lower than that. Right. Thank you. Okay. So go on. Uh, Sugar Cookie, did you want me to continue the video? Yeah, yeah, I'm good with that. Thanks. I mean, do you want to talk about the 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 actual point of the video, the uh, the turtle, which where did this stem from? Because I think you were talking, you you were saying that. This was analogous to the ranty, the ranty photo, or the Blackpool, the Blackpool Tower photo. Well, yeah, sort of, but yeah. Okay, so it, it was isn't, obviously making fun here, of that. It isn't. So, he, and here's why, right? You're you're closer to that to that turtle than the person that took the picture is to the tower. All right, so that's why the, the, the turtle appears higher than the neighbor's roof, you called it. You're closer to the turtle, and you're below the turtle. Now, if you were to get farther away from that turtle, then that turtle would start to drop down, and you would see that it was actually lower than the neighbor's roof. Right. And yeah, no turlock, right? Yes. And depending, and then... Another thing you had pointed out in the video that you the, the time you were going over it, the reason why I said at the one point I said um, depending on which direction you, the, your camera is facing to determine where eye level is, depending on I said that because depending on what's in the photo, right, you can judge not every photo but some photos you can judge where your eye level is, right. So let's say you're standing on a street, right, uh, you're looking down the street. There's there's um there's perspective lines um you know looking down that street you can use those perspective lines to find out uh where your eye level is now if you're looking down at the ground or if you're looking up there you know you really can't tell where eye level is but if you're you looking just... almost parallel hold on if you're looking almost parallel with the ground you could use things in the photo like perspective lines to figure out where your eye level is go ahead okay. you you just I think that you just said what um, from that last diagram that we were looking at, if I'm not that height, that's not my eye level. No, it's not. Okay, Th I, that's what I've been saying. So, so we okay. agree. <laughs> let's, let's, so let's go back. Okay, so let's go back to the, the diagram, right? Looking down the hallway, right? Now, if I drop, if I drop below that red line, now that red line is going to start to bend. It's going to start to tilt down. And if you follow those red lines, right? they're going to meet at your eye level. Again, what I, I said about perspective lines, you can use, If I put my eyes you, at a certain height, then that would be my eye level. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So we agree, right? That's your eye level, above the ground. Wherever your eyes are, and you try to make a horizontal from that, that's your eye level. Yes. So what's the problem? There is no problem. Are we in, are we in agreement now? That, that's I, that's what eye level means. I guess so. Okay. So you're. I'm not sure. Like I said in the video, I'm not sure if you were trolling when it came to the turtle. Were you were you trolling or were you just 
Are you, were you it's serious? Obvi- about it's obviously that? making. Po- it's obviously poke fun at Ranty's bullshit. But, well, but well, do you understand? Oh, God, I'm sorry. Yeah, of course, I understand perspective and eye level and the rest of that. I mean, I think I do anyway. But when you're talking about some other shit in your video, that didn't make any sense. Okay, let's go over. Yeah, I mean, you going. You want to go through the video or? Yeah, sure. That's what we're here for. Where's high level there? So they're not irrelevant pictures, people. Which, That's which, it. Which, like, your video is saying that I'm a crazy maniac, basically. Where's eye level there? Because is eye level right eye level? there on that picture because you drew a red I'm, line on it? I'm not. All right, cool. So I'm looking through an auto level. That's where my eye level is. That horizontal line is my eye level. You you put a red line on it. That's a horizontal line. Yes, there's a crosshair. I did, I just put that red line just so you can, you can see it better. So this is you looking through the auto level then? Is that is that what this yes. is? Yes. How did you take How did you take that picture? With a camera, with, with a phone. You, you stuck your cell phone up to the lens and you took that picture. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So that is that line is the height of my eyes above the water which is 11 feet. And I'm sure, I'm sure, you know, all your buddies over there, I'm not sure, I'm not, okay, let me not call you your buddies, but Bev and all his um, people over there claim that I didn't have a, a, a measuring rod. I mean, how would I know the height if I didn't have a measuring rod? Yeah, you're not measuring anything in that picture, right? Well, like, because I already know, I've already measured, I've already used a measuring rod to measure the height above that location. That's how I know it's 11 feet, three inches. I don't, I'm not, you can argue with them about it. I you didn't know, bring because up when you run over, picture, you, you, when you, not, when you just, run you're, over. You're right, though. You're not measuring anything. You're right. In this picture. It doesn't matter because that no. doesn't really have what we're talking about at the eye level anyway. So in this picture, right, there's a point in this picture to show that at my eye level, and let's say if the surface of the water is, is, is flat and doesn't curve then my eye level should intersect at the same exact height on that building that's the point of the picture and it doesn't let me see if i can find are you talking about perspective now no no i thought you okay i thought that was kind of no, part, is... part of the point where you were no. pointing out my my turtle and house picture. Well, like I said, you can right? perspective. Like, yeah, you can find. Like, no, I was saying you can find out where eye level is in this picture, and you can use perspective lines to find out where your eye level is. You can also use uh, the uh, the auto level and, and the measuring rod to find out where your eye level is because that's that's easy, right? But in a picture where there's no perspective lines, it's kind of hard to tell. So you just kind of, you're just going to, okay, you can, you can deduce from the picture where you think that camera height was. Is that what you're in saying? The picture where you're, in the picture with your turtle? Any of your pictures. So how about your pictures? Well, 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 yeah, the crosshairs would be where my eye level is, yeah. Okay. Can you, okay. I think we're good to move on with the video, right? Okay, go ahead. That's cool. So this is, a, I think this is a funny one right here. Can you pause it, please? You're squishing down on a blue beach ball with a protractor. Okay, so this is not squishing down. The protractor was just to measure the angles. I used another, I used an actual ruler to draw those lines and it was a flexible ruler. Good for you. Does that make does that make sense? Yeah, you can draw lines on stuff and measure angles mm-hmm. and squish down that beach ball or whatever it is. No, you see, the thing is, that wasn't, I, I, it wasn't squished down. I mean, you asserted that I squished it down. You assumed, but that's not what happened. I laid a ruler over the surface of the ball and traced a line, which is a straight line. It didn't it didn't deviate left to right. It was a straight line. 
Then I took the protractor okay. and measured the angle. It can't be a straight line if it's on a ball. Well, the angles are the angles are are wider than 180 degrees, as measured. So whether you want to not whether you want to argue about curved lines or straight lines on a on a sur on a surface of the ball, but regardless of that, the angles still measure to more than 180 degrees. Okay, so I'm confused also as to why you're even bringing this up. Like, why are you doing this in your video? Because you, it doesn't no, because, have to be because level, of, right? Because of the conversation we had, you brought this up. Remember the conversation we had in Bev's? You brought, right. you brought this up. Vaguely, you posted yeah, the video, vaguely. So that's, okay, right, so that's why we're there. putting the video. There's no, we're, not, we're not measuring eye level in that picture. But that's what you, you posted, so I addressed it. Exactly right. Okay. So on this picture, you have uh, three different pictures. Yeah. Can you, what's going on here? So this is just showing over over a flat surface, right? Eye level is going to remain constant, no matter how far away someone is. So this is your eye level, not the guys in the picture's eye level. Yeah, it is. Uh, no, this is eye level for anybody. If you go on a flat surface, right, like down a hallway or something, and you it walk down that eye hallway. Hold on, I'm going to explain to you. If if you're if you're walking down a hallway, right, and you're let's say let's say there's a line like a black line on the in the on the wall in the hallway, right, and your head is pretty much the same exact height as that black line on the wall. When you walk down that hallway, at no point will your head drop below that black line. You just said the eye Does level. That make sense? Yeah, but. When we were talking about the diagram, you said I, if I'm my eyes aren't at that level, then it's not at eye level. You just said in this picture, I, it's the same eye level for everybody. What are you talking about? No, it's the eye level of the person you... with the camera. It's the eye level of the person with the camera, and they're the, the gentleman with the, the person with the camera and the person walking towards the camera are pretty much at the same eye level. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's why his head remains on that line. His head remains on that line, I think, is because you zoomed it in. No, you can no. So it if you actually, so if you actually watch the video, the gentleman walks towards the camera. So there's a there's an actual this this came this screenshot came from an actual video. It's just a bunch of poisoning the well and on sequiturs, I think. Well, that's how that's how it's treated over there. So, all right. So, again, so just like this right here, you're looking, you're looking down a hallway or or over a flat surface. Your eye level is going to remain at the same height if you're looking straight. Okay. Yeah, we agreed on that. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not everybody's eye okay. level. Uh, no, it's not everybody's eye level. I didn't. I didn't say that for one. This is just for for one observer. You just said everybody's eye level on that last picture. That's because those two, those two people, that's because the person with the camera and the person walking towards the camera were both at the same, the same eye level. They're probably the same height. Or, or the camera's probably on a tripod, which is at the, uh, the, the level of the, the gentleman's head. So uh, where's whose eye level is this? I'm just confused about your pictures because now you got a guy looking at another guy who's cropped on this facing me here. This is, so you got a guy looking is, sideways, this, guy, uh, guy looking forward, and you've drawn a line. Okay, okay hold on. Another so yellow line. The so eye, the, the eye the eye level is. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Let me know when you're done. Go ahead. Yeah. So in this picture. You've got a yellow line going left to right. One of them is lined up with the uh, the instrument, and the other one is over the top of the guy's head. So it's not his eye level, right? No. So right. this is just to this is just to demonstrate that's the eye level of the person looking through the auto level. Obviously, the person where the per, the, the guy in the red shirt he is below eye level because he's that's a, that's an elevation change. So where's his eye level? 
You said I level was the same for everybody, but now no, you're I didn't. No, 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 I didn't. Now you're starting to straw man. That's not what I said. The person with the person looking through the auto level, that yellow line, that is his eye level. Okay. This is just to demonstrate that's where his eye level is. If they were on, if they were on a flat surface with no elevation changes, then that red, that yellow line would probably intersect with the other gentleman's head. So one picture you're showing eye level is the same for two people, and in this one you're showing it's not. It's just I just eye level. That's it. Just eye level. The the gentleman, the other gentleman over there in the red shirt, doesn't was probably irrelevant. This is just to show that's okay, the eye level of the you. person. That's the yeah, person. That's, that's, that's the person. That's the eye level of the person with the tool. Right. They are not on the. They are not on the same elevation. R right. So, that's an irrelevant picture that you have on there. No, it's not. It's just to show that's where that that person's eye level is. You just said that part on the left was irrelevant. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay. That's kind of my point. Okay. Do you want to? Do you, do we agree that eye level is 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 uh the person that eye level the person with the gray shirt that's his eye level? Do we agree on that? Yeah. Okay. And then do we also agree that the person in the red shirt is at a lower elevation? Probably. I don't know. Okay. It's irrelevant. Okay. All right, let's keep going. There you go. Can you pause it? Can you go back and pause it real quick? Where where it's showing the um the measuring rod demon? Right there. So this is the height of my eye above the water. So anything, anything That's, bad than those guys told you about me not having a measuring rod, here's the it, measuring rod. I'm not, I'm not here to argue whatever Bev's going to say. Okay. Because you did mention that, well, for, you know, for an auto level, it, it, it has three things. It has the it tripod, does. it has the measuring rod, and it has yeah. the auto level, which, which, those three, which those three things I had during this observation. I wouldn't be standing yeah. in the sand trying to hold an auto level with my hand. I never said that. Okay. Why would you do that? Well, That'd just be in case, well, well, just in case you thought that I didn't have those three things, because you it sound like you it sound like you were saying that I didn't have those three things. There's three things that go with an auto level. One is the auto level itself. The next thing is the tripod. And then the next thing is the measuring rod. And they all work together. They don't work independently. So if you stick a level or if you stick the measuring rod where it doesn't coincide with those other two pieces, you you're just making shit up. No. Okay. I was saying that I think the last person I talked to about that was PNS. And I said those are the three things that you have to have. I don't think it was no, in when you, with this with what you're doing here. When you when you went over this video in Geos, right? You were talking with Matthew. Remember Matthew? Matthew Learns, Not really. I think his name is. Not really. And you and him were going over the video and you were saying, you know, that it requires these three things. And I guess I'm, I'm yeah, thinking yeah. I was thinking that you didn't you're claiming that I didn't have those three things. So now we now we're in agreement that I did have those three things, right? It looks like it, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, we can go on. Right, and that's that's kind of the whole point also. I mean, if you go and you don't have, if you're just looking through it without looking at the measuring rod, you're just looking at stuff. Okay. So this is an interesting picture here you have. With the parrot. Go back, go back, demon, with the parrot. That that parrot. <laughs> so the guy, the photographer, is looking through the lens at a parrot, 
and that's at mm-hmm. the parrot's eye level too. It's kind of an irrelevant, irrelevant graphic, I think, just like the last one. No, so it's just showing that. What did you hear? What I said? It said height of the camera above the ground. So let's say that camera is on a porch that's 20 feet up. Yeah, if it's pointing up. So your eye level, oh, your eye level is 20 feet above the ground at that point. Does that make sense? So are you saying eye level doesn't have to be horizontal now? If you're looking horizontal, that's your eye level. Right. So in none of these, in none of these pictures is any of the cameras looking up. Yeah, we're not talking about looking up. We're talking about looking straight ahead over a flat surface. Okay. Or, or it can even be on over a curved surface. Why did you bring that up then? What do you mean? Why did I bring it up? You just said if you're looking up, if the camera's angled up, then that's your eye level. When did I say that? Just like two seconds ago. No. If you're looking up, can you determine? can you determine where eye level is? In the picture? Yeah, you're looking at a bird. And so the bird is at the same eye level as the guy? Is this, yeah, oh. it is. It could be. If it's, over, if it's over a flat surface, then yes. But if there's an elevation change, then, then obviously the, bird, the bird's elevation might be different than the, um, than the viewer. But that's not being represented in your image here. It's just to show that's the, the eye level, that's the height of the camera above the ground. I think you're trying. I think you're you're trying to argue a different point here. What's the point I'm trying to argue then? You're trying. You're trying to say that the both their both eye level aren't the same. And it's not, well, it's not. I'm trying to show that, that. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to show that for the viewer, right? The the guy with the camera, the yeah. height of the camera above the ground, above where he's standing, that's the height of the. That, that's his eye level. Yeah, and then you're showing it's going at eye level to a bird that you're just yeah, it's just showing he just he's just showing that that's just what he's looking at. Okay, okay. If the camera that's... is le- if the camera is level, yeah. right, and 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 let's say if the bird is at the same level, then okay, then he's that, that's that's the guy's eye level. Yeah, it does it. I mean? just think it's weird that you place the bird the bird's eye. You, that bird can be anywhere on that picture. It's irrelevant okay. again. You want to argue about the bird? Okay. I was arguing about the placement of the bird. I'm talking about the the camera and the you see the arrow. And yeah, I see the arrow the, pointing. The, 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 me, the measure it would be the measurement of the uh, the center of the lens to the ground. That's the height of eye, the height of his eye. Eye sure. level. Okay, it's I, I think you're just kind of this. This is kind of a weird picture again. To like you can remove the parrot, right, and it'd be the same. Okay. Okay. Hey, pause it right here, demon. All right. So when the gentleman put the lines on the on the screen. Yeah, you can you can you can use you can use those perspective lines on the buildings to tell you where your eye level is, basic uh, um, in in relation to the people on the street. So that guy on the left is like obviously below that because he's shorter, right? Yep. Right. So not his eye level. No, it's eye level of the camera. Okay. So I, I think what this thing is trying to say is like, look, the camera's at, you know, a height and it, it matches up with everybody's eyes. Almost, not quite. <laughs> Thank you. But again, just like I said, God, I'm sorry, guys. Now, God, Demi, you can play it. That's- so those those red lines aren't great with the perspective lines on the buildings. You get, but you get the you get you get the idea, right? You can do this anywhere. You can do this in any hallway, standing on any street. It'll tell you exactly where your eye level is. 
Okay, so if he'd actually would have made those red lines follow the actual lines on the building, then it wouldn't. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't cross the yellow line there. Yeah, they would. So that destroys your the whole point of this particular part. How, 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 how so? Because the yellow line, you're claiming that that yellow line that the guy's placing over the image is eye level. And those two red lines mm -hmm. cross it at that eye level. Well, if those red lines were actually following the, the perspective lines, then they wouldn't have crossed the yellow line. Oh, if he didn't put them exactly perfect? I'm, if you took this picture and you took like more accurate lines and you drew them from from those those perspective lines on that building, I guarantee they would meet. They would all meet at the same place. And you took the lines of the of the the pavement and the lines on the where the bottom of the uh, the doors are. That line, all those lines would meet at one place. Well, that's not what this is showing. Oh, because he because he didn't perfectly put the yellow line in, in a perfect spot. Yeah. Okay. Well, like I said, you can try this yourself. Go in any hallway where there's where there's lines on the wall, or always go on any street. Look down the street, take a picture, and 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 draw perspective lines coming from the the lines on the buildings. It's your demonstration. It's not. Okay, saying, well, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. Demonstration, then it would be more accurate. That's okay, what I'm well, I mean, you can... This is not an okay, accurate well, you... thing. Go ahead. This is just to show the concept that it's that it can be done. It's possible. Okay, but it's not actually doing so, it, right? If you don't think so, you can go ahead and try it yourself. All right, so in this demonstration, I put a line, a line on the, um, it, it's actually a battery. Like a, one of those, um, one of those, I don't know, just a, a battery. But anyway, there's a, and there's also um, crosshairs on, on the uh, camera, which is a, uh, the Dioptra app. And over a flat surface, that line on that, on that battery and the lines on the screen do not deviate from each other. Why? Because we're looking, we're sliding this over a flat surface and the elevation is remaining constant. Right, so you see that two on the left hand side? That means it's okay. not level. No, that's no, no, you're looking at the wrong thing. The, the level is on the right side. See that zero? That's that's the right. that's We're, the um, the level. I see the zero the on the is, right. What's that two on the left? That's the that's the uh, the tilt, right? So not horizontal. Okay, go ahead. That's just the tilt. That's just it's just it's slightly tilted, which means it doesn't really mean anything. We're right. talking about the up. We, we want the up and down. Right. So is eye level and so eye level in this is tilty slightly. Yeah. So the eye level will be at the okay. would be at the uh, crosshairs. So it's not level. Yeah, we're not worried about the slight not tilt. It. I mean, if you want to argue about the slight tilt, that's that's fine. But then. If you're, if you're, then you'd have to see, then you have to explain why the crosshairs remain at the at a fixed point on that block when I moved it away. Yeah, the tilt right and left doesn't really matter here. It's only up and down that matters. And the up and down is set at 0% or 100% level. What did you say? What did you say, I think, in that? You think that level and horizontal are the same thing? Level and horizontal, yeah, I do think level and horizontal are the same thing. Well, but they're not. And and, okay, so and we can Bev go around and around all day about it, I guess. Bev has indoctrinated you to think that way. I level and level aren't the same thing either. What do you? What? Because if you're saying eye, eye level you're, and level, hang on, I'm confused now. You said eye level and level aren't the same thing. Uh, I'm confused about that. Please explain. Yeah, I I think I I brain farted there. Okay. 
So do you understand why why I, I said what I said about the, the turtle, right? Yeah, do you understand the, why obviously the you, turtle and the top of the roof are at different heights above the ground, obviously. Right. Right. And due to your proximity to the turtle, that's why it appears above the house. Right. No shit. Okay. Okay. Now, in re in, re in re reference to Ranty's picture, that do you understand why the tower is higher than the, the mountain? Because it's closer to you than the mountain. Well, the mount. Oh, if, let's say. That's, let's say the surface yeah, between. Let, let's say the surface between between the, the viewer and the mountain did not curve. It was perfectly flat. That mountain should be way above that tower. Right. Right. Because that tower, I think, is only, what, 500 feet tall? Mountains, mountains are like hundreds of, hundreds of feet. So is there anything else you want to go over about the video or eye level or anything? Yeah, I think the uh, overarching thing is there's obviously things are at different heights above the ground. It's like, right. yeah, of course. But okay. I think if you just say, hey, where's eye level in a picture? It's like, well, I don't fucking know. Who's eye level? Oh, the camera well, lens? Like I, said, I don't know. Well, it, it would obviously be the be the level of the person taking the picture, right? And just like I said before, if your camera's facing down or up, you can't really tell where eye right. level would be. Only on a right. picture that's like looking horizontally. And, there, and also if there's uh, references in the picture. That's what I was saying too. Okay. I, the, the video overall with all of the, like, I don't know, underhanded attacks, I think was another part of it I don't like. But, well, I mean, that's kind of how I was treated when I was over there. So it, hey, it is what it is. If I'm treated a certain way, then I'm, it's going to be reciprocated. Wherever somebody's eyes are, and if they're pointing straight across, straight, horizontal, horizontally, that would be where the eyes, where the eye level is. Yes, I agree. So, I think we're done here. Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Well, th yeah, thanks for stopping by. Thanks, Sugar Cookie, and thanks, Earth is Life, for this uh, exhilarating presentation. <laughs> yeah. Now I've got a uh, inertial moment video to show everyone here now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I got to get right. out of here. Um, it's been fun. Thank you, and um, I'll probably pop in a little bit later when I get a chance. B-ball, before you run away. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> Was that your dog in that video? No, that's not me, man. That, that's from, that is from a, uh, I can't think, it's in, from another video. The guy is like a, a photographer, and he was talking about eye level in, his, in that video. But no, that's not me, and that's not my dog. <laughs> Oh, well, well, I would also like to add anyway. that that guy, the guy on the, when the third picture on the right, I guess, his eyes were below that yellow line on there also. Yeah, it's so, probably not. It's probably not exact. I, I get it, man. But if you do it in a hallway right. where you know the surface is perfectly flat, that, that his head is not going to deviate from that line. I think if you're trying to demonstrate something, it should actually demonstrate that thing rather than say, well, it's pretty close. Well, I mean, you, like I said, you could do this. If you really wanted to see it, whether I, whether or not I was telling the truth, you could you could actually go and try it. Like you know what, I'm gonna try and see if I'm gonna see if b-ball is actually right. Go get yourself a hallway, get yourself uh I don't know an auto level or something, and then see if, if if you walk down the hallway, see if your head deviates from that horizontal. If he if it deviates down, 
that means whatever you, that means your your device is looking up slightly. If it de if your head deviates up above the horizontal, that means your your device is, is looking down. Yeah, no shit. So, all right, I gotta go. Appreciate it. Thank you for the, the we finally got a chance to um, hash this out. Um, I gotta get I gotta get out of here. Yeah, man. Yep. Thanks, dude. See you, B ball. Thanks. I'm happy. No problem. Pinpoint asteroids in orbit, then hurl y'all thousands of miles an hour towards it, towards it, towards it. Towards it.